friends, it's Miss Christine, and today I am going to read you a story called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Who is Eric Carle? What does he do? He is the author and the illustrator. So what does an author do? An author writes all of the words in the story. And what does an illustrator do? Draws all of the pictures that you see. So Eric Carle did both of those things. Let's read. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Oh, for my sister Krista. That looks like Eric Carl wrote this story for his sister. That was nice of him. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There's that little egg laying on this leaf. And here's the moon. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. So we seen on the page before, there was an egg laying on a leaf. And then the next day, there was a caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one, what fruit is this? Apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through, what fruit is the green one? Pears, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through, what are these called? Plums. And how many did he eat through? Let's count them. One, two, three. He ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through, what fruit is this? Strawberries. And let's count how many strawberries he ate through. One, two, three, four. He ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through, what fruit is this? An orange. And let's count how many oranges he ate through. One, two, three, four, five. He ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Oh, that night he had a tummy ache. Look at his face. Do you think you would get a tummy ache if you ate all this food? I know I would. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. There he is after he ate on the leaf. 
he was inching off of it. I wonder where he's gonna go. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's see. Whoa, now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a, do you know what this is called? What kind of house does a caterpillar make? Called a cocoon, also called a chrysalis. And he made it around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out. And what do you think this caterpillar turned into? Let's take a look. He was a beautiful butterfly. The end. Thanks friends for listening to The Very Hungry Caterpillar.